Hello, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm, and we, we have a website, durhamsbeefarm.com, and uh, if, you, if you like our videos, go down underneath the video, there's a little red box, it says subscribe. If you click on that and you subscribe, uh, if, they, if, if you click on that, uh, we will send you an email every time we make a new video. And we do not give out emails. So we're going to discuss two or three things here. Uh, it's uh, uh, in the upper 60s. The wind's blowing. But there's two or three things we're going to discuss. You see three boxes there. Now this, this deep brew chamber right here went into winter with two brew chambers and plenty of honey. This single... Uh, brood chamber box went into winter like that but did, did not have near as much honey and I had to start feeding it uh, about two weeks ago now uh, this hive right here has the, the, the best queen in it she must be going to town because you'll see in a minute how many bees are in there I am going to add another brood chamber right here and uh, while I'm thinking about it, let me let me mention this. These these are frames of foundation, like so. And when when you put this in the hive, be sure that these frames are snugged up again. Be sure there's not a gap in here like this. Snug them together. Uh, in, initially, snug them to snug them together. And now I've got all the space over here on this side. Then I'm going to take a hive tool, and I'm going on the other side, and I'm going to move them over where they're centered. But do not, do not leave a gap. In, 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 forget and leave a gap somewhere between the frames. Now, just a quick note about this gallon of sugar syrup. I got this jar from Coca-Cola Bottling in Memphis about 40 years ago, and the standard gallon jar will not fit in an in a, in a entrance feeder like, like you see this one here. They're, 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 they're too, the diameter is too large. These jars here that, that Coca-Cola got their syrup in, they're more narrow. They're taller and narrow, so they will fit in that entrance. Originally, I thought these dry cloth refills that you put on the end of a mop, originally I thought they didn't work very well, but I've changed my mind. Uh, I think they work very well. So uh, I'll show you one of them, and, and then I'll, I'm gonna, I'm going to take this hive down to the bottom board and, and show you something else. Okay, taking the top off, and I'm going to lay it on the ground. Okay, uh, this is the inner cover. I'm going to take it off. Now, you, you'll hear people say, don't go into your hive if it's below 60 degrees. And it's okay to take your top off like that. But if it's below 60 degrees, you don't want to pull the frames of... of there's a hive beetle right there. I got him. Uh, if it's below 60 degrees, uh, you, you don't want to take the, the cat brood and the eggs out of there. Mm -hmm. They'll... Uh, because they, they, keep them, they keep them warm. All right. Uh, now, I'm going to set... I'm going to... Uh, here it is right here. Now, these, these bees here, this hive here, this hive here is... is they're more fussy than that big hive. So, I'm, I may have to go fast. Now, here's that Swiffer. You can see all those... Uh, high beetles that got caught in it, a bunch of them. I've only seen one high, high beetle right now. The last time I went in there, I mean, there were bunches of them. Now, now I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm gonna take the brood chamber off the bottom board. Now, it, it, I've, I fed them a gallon and a half, and it, uh, now there's a high beetle right there. Uh, you see this aluminum? I, I, I question whether that is, I just don't think it works, because uh, I put this on last fall, 
and and uh, so when I went into the hive, there were a lot of hive beetles in the hive. So now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it. I don't see I don't see a lot of high beetles. Now I'm on a I'm on one of these Swiffer cloths. I'm on I'm gonna put mm, one of these Swiffer cloths. I'm gonna put it back here in the back and flatten it out. You want to flatten it out so the high beetles will they'll get underneath it and try to hide. All right, now I'm gonna put the the bottom brood chamber back on. Um, it's it's not it's not heavy. I, boy, I sure am glad I started feeding them. I believe that it, it died, but it's not heavy. And these high beetle busters, uh, they're good. There's there's uh, three or four high beetles in them, but I believe this this cloth is 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 doing the job. And uh, all right, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one more here on the, on the rear. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna set the the brood chamber with empty foundation on top because if I don't, they'll swarm. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna press them together and I'm gonna put the inner cover back on. You always want to be careful. Sometimes the queen, I have seen the queen be on top of the inner cover. All right, well, I can't see it. And uh, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Or if you have any suggestions for the other beekeepers, and go down below and subscribe if you wish to. Okay, uh, this is a little personal. I probably shouldn't tell it, but... Anyway, uh, wife and I have been married uh, uh, over 50 years, and a uh, good woman too. Uh, I'm like a, I'm uh, with my, my wife like I am a good truck. If I get a good one, I keep it. But anyway, I, I went into uh, uh, a perfume store the other day, and I told the lady that uh, I wanted to get my wife something special. So uh, she reached over and Got a little bitty bottle of perfume. She said, "This is ninety dollars." And I said, "Oh my! Do you do you have anything a little cheaper?" And so uh, she reached over, got another little bottle. She said, "Well, this is pretty good too. It's it's seventy dollars." And uh, I said, "Well, do you have anything a little cheaper?" <laughs> And so she reached over and got another little bottle. And she said, this one's $50, and, you know, it'll do. And uh, I said, uh, well, do you have anything a little cheaper? And so <laughs> she reached under the counter and got a mirror and handed it to me. <laughs> oh, my. Oh well, that's you know that's life. We'll talk to you later.